Let me give you a quick demo of the Pin and Stripe Breakthrough Custom Shoe Portal. Inside of this portal, you can literally choose from any variety of shoes that you want. You can see under the dress shoes, we have hole cut, we have uh, boots, uh, we have Chelsea boots, we have military brogues, we have derby, loafers, and the list goes on and on. Uh, you can, of course, do the Chucka suede style look. Uh, many, many beautiful shoes. We also have some custom golf shoes down here as well for all of you avid golfers out there. Uh, and you can choose from those. I'm going to go ahead and do a, a short demo here just to show you how the platform works. And we're going to go ahead and, and choose the Chucka style shoe here. Now the very first page after you choose the style of shoe that you want, uh, it goes to a page where you can choose whether it's a rounded toe for the traditional English look or the classic elegance of the Monty with slightly square toe. We're going to go for the Zerigo and that's kind of the, the classic look there. And uh, then it comes right to the shoe. Uh, now it's going to be set up with a uh, just a basic uh, one color type setup at first most of the time. Uh, but you can grab this shoe and you can see you can see all parts of the shoe from the sole all the way through to the top, the lacing, uh, the front of the shoe. Uh, and so feel free to play around with that so you can get a full feel of how the shoe looks all the way around. Now the beautiful part is is that this is a complete custom experience. So you'll see right across the very top, you can actually choose from box calf, luxe suede, polished calf, painted calf, kids suede, patent, and then others. And so once you get to this particular page, you choose the style of shoe you like. I like kids suede personally, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Now, once you're ready to begin to play with the customizations, all you have to do is click on the part of the shoe that you want custom. The beautiful thing about this is, is that you can have one part of the shoe that let's say has kid suede, the other could have painted calf or box calf or patent or any other design that you want on the shoe, any other cloth or fabric or leather or style that you want on the shoe. So let's go ahead and play around with this a little bit and you can get as creative as you want. Remember, this is your custom shoe experience. So you want to have a one of a kind shoe that no one else is going to have. They're not going to go to Nordstrom or Neiman's or any other box brand store out there, even a luxury store, and, and they're not going to be able to get the kind of uh, custom shoe experience that you have. So truly when somebody comes up to you and they say, where did you get those shoes? You can say, I designed these shoes all on my own. It's your custom shoe. So I've got red laces in there. Let's pick something that goes with red laces that's good. Uh, so you can see that red kid suede, or I can even go, uh, you know, a little bit more um, you know, loud there. I can do all red right on the front, and then I can choose the back part here. And I can choose something completely different like navy or green or black or literally any style that I want. Uh, also, right here on the very back, this, uh, this, this back um, uh, middle section right here is also customizable. So I can pick a different color there or I can stick with what I was, uh, was doing at the beginning. So let me see. I'm going to go with this and then I'm going to go with a white uh, here on the back. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't forget to click off of the section that you uh, just kind of gave the edit to. And then I want to go with white on the back. I still want to keep the red laces there because that looks kind of cool. Then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to go ahead and just go white there too. Or what I could do is accent it with this front part right here, the, the color of the front. Now the laces are also completely customizable in terms of the color. So you can, um, of course, choose white laces there. We can go burgundy. We can go yellow. I mean, literally any... Uh, style or color that you want there. Uh, that's not all though because we can also customize the sole of this shoe. So let's go back with the red laces there. And I'm more of a traditional kind of a guy here. So I'm going to go just white all the way with uh, a, a red on the back there on this custom area. I'm going to go with a little more bold color that matches the laces there and it gives it that red look, right? So we're going to do that. Uh, and then next thing that we're going to do is we can actually customize the inside as well. So you can actually pick the color for the inside. I'm going to stick with that red, but let me just show you the functionality and featuring there. You could go black if you wanted to, navy, tan, orange even. Um, and so again, there's some really loud colors you can go with to really truly make this a custom shoe of your own. It's so easy to play with. And not only that, but 
literally you can go through hundreds of different options that are, it's really going to make this a one of, one of a kind shoe. The next thing that we're going to look at is the sole. Right now we have it set just on a, on a basic leather sole. We can go to uh, a number of different types of leather soles and all you have to do is click on this sidebar right here and it's going to give us a different leather sole now. So you can see the front part has more grip there. It's a little bit thicker of a sole. We'll click on the third one down and we'll look at what that looks like now. And it just takes a second to load, but you can see now we have the, the rounded spirals on the front, right? Uh, so we can even go with the rubber sole. So this is really cool right here. Let's say we want to go the rubber sole, and we want to make this sole red. Just look how that pops right there. The white with the red back, the red laces, the bright red bottom rubber sole. And, of course, you can see the bottom of the sole as well. And we have a couple of different styles there uh, also. We can go with the wedge sole. So, again, a number of different styles to choose from. And, again, I'm going to go with the red sole, and I'm going to go ahead and, and make this one black. Uh, and then, of course, you can customize the top part of that sole as well. So I can go black on that too, so it all matches. But, you know, I kind of like this rubber sole look with the red all around it. Um, and, and with that little black line, it kind of really goes good with the white and the, um, uh, the red lacing and the red inside there. I'm digging that shoe right there. So once I'm ready to go and I've, and I've gone through all of the different features, I've looked this shoe over, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go click the order button now and uh, it's going to ask you to go ahead and confirm. Now we haven't gotten the sizing yet, that's coming up next, but it's going to ask you to confirm every aspect of this shoe to make sure that's exactly what you want. This is handcrafted in Spain, by the way, uh, using only the finest materials at the finest tanneries in the world. Uh, and so, again, this is a complete, custom, handcrafted, beautiful shoe. Once I've confirmed everything, it's going to take me to and confirm my order. I'm going to confirm this order, and since I'm in the U.S. right now, it doesn't matter if you're in the U.K., E.U., U.S., or Japan, you can choose from the size from wherever you are in the world. And this shoe is going to ship directly to you. Um, and uh, it, that way you get it right from our manufacturing facilities. Uh, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful process. I'm a size 10 right here, so I'm going to select that. I'm a U, uh, U.S. I can select whether I want the standard width or I can select whether I want a little wider fit. Now, uh, if you need help with sizing, uh, you can also always go down to your local shoe store, uh, to a box store of any kind, Neiman's, uh, Nordstrom, anything like that, and you can get your exact shoe size measured if you don't already know that. Or we have a simple guide here that helps you to measure your feet yourself. I'm in the U.S., so I'm going to select inches, and uh, I want to make sure that I put the right uh, 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 information in here for length and width based on how to measure your feet. This help tip right here, you can click on that and it will pop up with how to measure your feet there and it gives you a short little tutorial there on how to do that. And then it's going to uh, let you do the recommended sizes right here at the bottom. So all you have to do is click that once you put in that information and this is going to give you your perfect uh, shoe size. So it's going to be not only a custom shoe but it's going to be the custom fit. It's going to fit uh, very well. It's going to wear very well. It's going to feel great on your foot and uh, you'll love this experience. You'll want to come back over and over, tell everybody that you know about it uh, and, uh, uh, and you're going to have a one-of-a-kind custom shoe. So we can't wait to deliver this awesome product to you. Go ahead and play with it yourself now and, uh, and pick out your custom shoe and let's get you started today.